In the new snapshot for 1.17 came to cliffs, we got the Skulk sensor, which detects vibrations from movement around it, and then you can use it to activate rest of components, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can use this and then hopefully you guys can create some really cool things with this. Now with that info do, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Skulk sensors have a radius of 8x8 and while you're in that radius of 8x8, it's going to be able to pick up any type of vibration. And it will take the signal one tick to travel each block. So let's say you're one block away. That would be equivalent to 0.1 seconds or one tick. If you were eight blocks away the max, then that would be equivalent to 0.8 seconds. So the further you are away from the Skulk sensor, the longer it's going to take the signal to reach the Skulk sensor. So if you don't know what a tick is, a tick is basically a measurement of time. Like this thing you have 10 seconds, then that would be equivalent to 100 ticks. If you have like 20 seconds, then that would be equivalent to 200 ticks. Now it does take 40 ticks or 2 seconds for it to stay active. So if you go ahead and start moving around while it's active, it will not be able to detect any vibrations. But if you go ahead and wait for it to deactivate, then it's gonna go ahead and get the vibration and it's gonna go and activate. Anything that causes movement in Minecraft, that's gonna be using a vibration strength. So let's say you're throwing down an item. Say we have a solstice copper ore. I go ahead and throw it down, then it's gonna go ahead and cause a vibration because it's causing a movement to happen. Whenever you place down a block, that's also gonna cause a vibration, breaking blocks, that's also going to cause a vibration. If you were to be jumping, that's going to cause a vibration. So as I mentioned, basically anything that causes movement, that's going to be causing a vibration to happen. And for everything that makes a vibration in the game, that's going to cause a different output. So let's say you're jumping up and down, that's going to give you a 5. If you're moving around, then that would be a 3. It's also really good to know that if you're further away from the Skulk sensor, whenever there is no comparator, then the strength is going to be different. So let's say I'm right here and I go ahead and jump, that's going to be a 3. If I were to get a little bit closer and I go and stay on top of it, I go and jump, then now it's going to go all the way to 14. But if you're using a comparator, now originally whenever I jumped on this, we got a signal of 14. But now our signal strength is all the way down to 5. But our difference between the comparator and redstone is that let's say I'm all the way over here, that's going to give us a 5. If I run on top of this, then it's still going to be a 5. So with the comparator, the strength is always going to be the same depending on whatever you're using. For every time you break a grass block or any other block, that's always going to give the same signal strength. If you were to be jumping up and down, that's always going to give you a 5. So just going to keep that in mind. Let's move on to wool occlusion. Now for wool occlusion, this basically allows you to dampen any sounds and vibrations that are inside of your Minecraft world. So you see how we have still this loop going on? If you were to place down wool like this, then whenever you can do a vibration, it's not going to cause a big loop. And it's going to go in and cause a loop. So if I go and do that, then as you can see, it's going to start causing a loop. And that's something that you do not want. So placing on the wool blocks, that's just going to go ahead and stop the loops. And then we're over this way. We have results a little firework display. So how this works is that you see we have a a skulk sensor. It's going to go ahead and go over this way. And then we have a the trap door that's going to cause a vibration, which is then going to activate this skulk sensor. And then this trap door activates this skulk sensor. And then it's going to go and activate the dispenser, which shoots off a firework. Now, the best way I can show you this is if I just go step on this, then as you can see, it's going to go and shoot a firework. And oh, there's our beautiful firework. And I think that this is really cool because you can use the wool to make the vibration go in a certain direction that you may want it to go in. If I were to break all the wool blocks and I go and step on this, then as you can see the vibrations, it's not going to work in the best way. So yeah, definitely make sure to use the wool. And with all that said, that is how you use the Skulk sensors. If you enjoyed today's video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!